Hello everyone, I am Kiran Joshi. Hope you all are safe and sound. Children, this is the first video of class 8 geography chapter 4 agriculture. Have you ever wondered children how a loaf of bread is made? Dear children, there are various processes involved in its making. First, a farmer tills land, grows wheat. Then the wheat is taken to the mandi for selling. From there it is taken to factories to make bread. This transformation of a plant to a finished product involves three types of economic activities. Primary, secondary and tertiary activities. Primary activities are those where people are engaged in extracting or harvesting things or raw material from the earth. For example, agriculture, fishing, mining etc. Secondary activities convert raw materials to manufactured goods. Manufacturing of steel, baking of bread, weaving of cloth are the examples of secondary activity. Tertiary activities provide services to people. Services like healthcare, transport, trade, banking, communication, insurance and entertainment are examples of tertiary activities. Agriculture is a primary activity. It includes growing crops, fruits, vegetables, flowers and rearing of livestock. Children, the word agriculture is taken from Latin words agar or agri means soil and culture meaning cultivation. The cultivation can be of different kinds. For example, agriculture which is also called farming. It refers to science and art of cultivation on the soil, raising crops and rearing livestock. Sericulture, it refers to commercial rearing of silkworm. Pisciculture, it is the breeding of fish in specially constructed, uh, viticul uh, uh, specially uh, constructed tanks. Viticulture means cultivation of grapes and horticulture which means growing vegetables, flowers and fruits for commercial use. In the world, almost 50% of the people are engaged in agriculture and in India, uh, two-third of the people depend on agriculture directly or indirectly for their livelihood. Agriculture activity depends on different factors such as soil, climate, land relief, irrigation facilities, size of land holding and many more. The map here shows the distribution of arable land all over the world. Children, arable land is the land on which the crops are grown. From the map, uh, it is quite clear children that there are certain areas where agricultural activity is concentrated, which is shown through the green areas. It is because those these areas have the suitable factors for growing of crops. Agriculture is a productive system. The inputs of the agricultural system are seeds, fertilizers, machinery like uh, seed drillers, tractors, harvest, uh, harvesters, threshers, etc. and labor. The processes or operations involved in this system are plowing, sowing, irrigation, weeding and harvesting and the outputs are crops, wool, dairy and poultry products. The different kinds of farming uh, practiced around the world can be classified into two main uh, types of uh, on the basis of geographical conditions, demand of produce, labor and uh, lev uh, level of technology. These two, types of subs uh, these two types of farming are subsistence farming and commercial farming. Uh, subsistence farming is carried out to satisfy the need of the farmer's family alone. There is nothing left over for sale. Subsistence farming involves primitive methods, low level of technology and household labor. Means in this type of farming, farmers do not use hired labor, rather the members of the farmer's family work on the field. Subsistence agriculture can again be classified into uh, intensive subsistence agriculture and primitive subsistence agriculture. 
in intensive subsistence agriculture the farmer cultivates a small plot of land using simple tools and large amounts of labor in this type of farming a farmer uses manure artificial uh, irrigation and better quality seeds to get maximum yield from the plot uh, in general more than uh, one crop annually on the same plot is harvested intensive uh, subsistence agriculture is practiced in the densely populated monsoon regions of south southeast and east asia rice is the major crop uh, some other crops are wheat maize pulses and oil seeds this was about the intensive subsistence farming the second type of subsistence farming is primitive subsistence farming which includes shifting cultivation and nomadic herding children about shifting cultivation you have learnt in history also that a small area of a forest is cleared by cutting down the trees and burning them the ashes are mixed with the soil to make it uh, more fertile and crops like maize yam potatoes and cassava are grown after a couple of years when the soil becomes less fertile uh, it is abundant and the farmer shifts to another area and clears it for cultivation this practice is also known as slash and uh, burn agriculture shifting cultivation is practiced in uh, regions with heavy rainfall and thick forests such as northeast india southeast asia amazon basin and tropical africa in uh, different parts of the world uh, shifting cultivation is known by different names like jhuming in uh, northeast india milpa in mexico roka in brazil uh, ladang in malaysia and indonesia the second type of primitive subsistence agriculture is nomadic herding in this type of uh, farming herdsmen move from one place to another with their families and livestock in search of pasture fodder and water camels sheep yak goat are the most commonly uh, reared animals by nomads these animals provide milk meat hides wool and other products to herders and their families nomadic herding is uh, practiced in the arid and semi arid means dry regions of sahara central asia and uh, some parts of india like uh, jammu and kashmir and rajasthan <clears throat> so far uh, we have learnt about the subsistence farming the second type of farming is commercial farming in commercial farming the farmer cultivates crops and uh, rears animals for commercial purpose Uh, that means for selling most of the work is done by machines the area under cultivation and the amount of the capital involved in commercial farming are large commercial farming includes commercial grain farming mixed farming and plantation agriculture in commercial grain farming as the name suggests grains are uh, grains like wheat and maize are grown on a large scale for commercial purpose uh, important regions where commercial grain farming is prevalent are uh, temperate grasslands of north america europe and asia in these regions there are large farms which spread over hundreds of hectares and are thinly populated seed drillers combine harvesters and threshers are used in commercial grain farming Uh, as these regions experience severe winters only a single crop can be harvested during summers uh, then mixed farming mixed farming refers uh, to the cultivation of food crops fodder crops and the rearing of livestock uh, at the same time on the same land the combination of different primary activities is uh, complementary to each other and adds to the farmer's profit Uh, mixed farming is practiced in europe eastern usa argentina southeast australia new zealand and south africa then the third type of commercial farming is plantation agriculture it is uh, introduced by the europeans in their colonies in the tropical regions in plantation agriculture single crop of uh, tea coffee sugarcane cashew rubber banana or cotton are grown in vast areas 
large amount of uh, capital skilled labor scientific techniques efficient transport network and managerial and marketing skills are needed in uh, plantation agriculture the farm produce is either uh, processed in the farm itself or is sold to nearby factories major plantations uh, found in the tropical regions of the world are uh, rubber plantations in malaysia coffee in brazil um, and tea in india and sri lanka that's all for this part of the chapter the remaining part of the chapter will be covered in the next video of this chapter till then solve these questions first question what are the three types of economic activities second question what are the inputs and outputs of agriculture in general also mention the various operations involved third question describe subsistence farming and its types fourth question describe commercial farming and its types children if you found this video helpful and you wish to watch more of such content do consider subscribing to the channel also if you have any queries or comments please post them in the comment section below thank you